Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 20 of my horror game tutorial series. So, today I'm going to show you how to add this Jack of Hearts picture and how to add this Queen of Spades picture. And this uh, video will mainly function as uh, what we're going to do next kind of video. So, I will see you after the intro. Hey guys, so now we're inside of the Unity Editor and let's start by importing the images for the pictures. Okay, so let's go to the Horror Game Tutorial Series folder, open it up and go to the textures and then grab the Jack of Hearts and the Queen of Spades and then drag them into Unity into the textures folder. Okay, so now uh, the next thing we are going to do is we click on this image right here and then we're going to open it up if it's closed so if it's closed open it up then go to the image and you can see here is the material so let's put on the jack of hearts right here and you can see the picture changed itself and it's working properly okay so now the next picture we're going to add is uh, on this wall behind the desk so go there and then go to the imported folder, go into the paintings folder after that and then go to painting collection 2. Then go into the prefabs folder and here we have the picture. Just drag it on there and now you can see it's first of all it's too small and second of all it's um, yeah, it's rotated the wrong way, so let's fix this. So you can see we have to rotate on the y-axis. So let's rotate it by negative 90 degrees. And then bring it up a little bit. Okay. And now you can see it's still too small. So let's put the scale to 0 0.75 and 0 0.75 on the Y and leave the Z as it is because we don't want the picture to be thick we want the picture to be a little bit bigger but not thicker okay and then go to the textures folder and then grab the Queen of Spades and oops I made a mistake of course we first have to go to the image and then we grab the Queen of Spades and drag it on here and you can see the picture changed itself. Okay, so this wraps up everything we did for the save. So the save tutorial is now completed. We have the node and we have the save and we have the pictures which give our player a hint uh, or tells our player the combination of the save. So yeah, uh, the next thing we are going to uh, make is the gun, which will be inside of the safe. And uh, once we got that done, we will add the zombie AI and that uh, this tutorial will be finished. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing if you want to be up to date. And yeah, so until next time and don't forget to smile. Bye guys.